one thing I often get asked in Word, and, and I was asked today in class again, is how to control page numbering in the footers of a document. So I'd like to just take you through that quite briefly, because it's quite straightforward. The situation that I was presented with today was the person wanted a cover page and they didn't want any page numbering on the cover page but they did want page numbering on page 2 and onwards and the page numbering that was to appear on page 2 was to start from page 1 even though it's physically page 2 so let's just go through this now I've got a blank document in front of me and I'm just zooming in so you can see the entire page um, let's say that this is the cover page so I'm just going to type cover page I'll just select it make it bigger so control A is a quick way to select control shift greater than is a quick way to grow text and control E is a quick way to center text now if I press the end key I'll go to the end of the line and if I press the home key I'll go to the beginning of the line so having gone to the beginning of the line I'll now just press enter and just push that down a little bit so this is my make-believe pretend cover page now I'll go to the end of the line with the end key and I'll press enter now I want to go back to normal text so the quickest way is control shift N for normal and that just puts you back to the normal font the normal size and the fact that it's on the left hand side and it's at this point that I actually want to put a page break in so control enter is a page break um, so when I press control enter I've now generated a second page so never go enter 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 that's seriously not cool um, if you want to start something on the next page, then press Control enter that'll put a page break in, and it'll move you to the next page. Now here I just want to generate some dummy text. So a little trick for that is equals L-O-R-E-M, which is lorem, open bracket, and then I'll say how many paragraphs I want. So let's say I want five paragraphs, so I type five, comma, and I want six sentences in each of those five paragraphs. So I go six and close bracket. Let me just zoom in for a second so you can see that. So equals lorem, L-O-R-E-M, how many paragraphs you want and how many sentences you want in each paragraph. And so now I'll just zoom back down again. And so when I press enter, it basically gives me five paragraphs with six sentences in each. And it's just dummy text. Um, lorem is short for lorem ipsum, which if you Google that just means dummy text. So it's nothing real, it just looks real, but it's make-believe words. Okay, so now I'm going to press Control enter to generate a third page, and I might even zoom in a little bit more, so now you can see all three. And I'm going to go equals lorem, and this time in brackets I'll say I want ten paragraphs with maybe eight sentences in each. When I press enter, that's exactly what I get. Okay, so I've created this three-page document. Now what I want to do is add page numbering to the footer of this document, but I don't want it to appear on the cover page. So let's start by going to Insert, and let's go to Footer. And from here I'm going to choose the option Edit Footer. Now when I do so, I'm taken into what they call the header and footer area. And as you can see, there's header here and footer here, which means that no matter what I type or where I type in either three of these, that will be the footer for the entire document. So even if I type the word footer, you can see that automatically appears at the foot of every page. Okay, so I'm going to take the word footer out. In order to make the page numbering not appear or something not appear on the cover page, we have to go up to here into the ribbon. And under the header and footer tab in the ribbon, there's a tick box or a check box called different first page. If you were to tick that option, you'll see that header and footer, as you see indicated here, will change. So I tick that. Now I'm dealing with first page header and first page footer and header and footer actually start on the second page. So now I can literally control what appears on the first page of this document. And I want nothing to appear on the first page header and footer. So I just leave that blank and now I come over to the footer. Now in the footer, I would like to have centered a page number. So I'm going to press Control E to center. Control C is not center. Control C is copy. So Microsoft took the second letter in the word center and decided that Control E would be the shortcut key for center. So it's here that I'd like to insert a page number. So on the header and footer tab in the ribbon again, 
we go for this button called page number, third in from the left hand side. Now if you click that button, you'll be able to choose current position because that's exactly where I want to put the page number, is in this current position. And I just want a plain number, so I'm just going to click this option here. So immediately I can see I've got a page number at the foot of the second and the third page. And if I zoom in for you, you can see it's page 2 and page 3. But the question that I often get asked is, I don't want it to start at 2. I want it to start at 1. So that's when I drag over that page number, in fact either would do, and I'll go back to the page number button and it's this option here, format page number. When you go into format page number, you get to choose things such as the number format. We've currently got Arabic, which is 1, 2, 3, but I could go for alphabetic, ABC, or I could even go for Roman. But I'm going to stick with the Arabic because I like that and it's the most common one. I don't want to continue from the previous section. I actually want to control what the numbering starts at. So a lot of people will choose start at and start at 1 and that makes complete sense that you want that number to start at 1. So when I go OK, I expect it to start at 1. But it doesn't and that's why I always get asked. You actually have to tell it to start at 0. So I'm going to select this page number again. I'm going to go to page number, I'm going to go to format page number, I'm going to tell it to start at zero. And when I click OK, now I have page numbering purely starting on page two forward and starting at the number one. And if I need to zoom in so you can see that, there it is there. This has got nothing on it, this is page one and this is page two. So I hope that answers that question for those of you out there who um, have found that extremely annoying. Um, and I'll just close the page header and footer and thank you very much.